Avoid accusing Russia through the invasion of Ukraine while G20 leaders are struggling to support. Biden show subtitle secret subtitle G20 leaders come to the New Delhi from 20 country groups. Most of the world's leading economies. Washington the group of 20 people stopped condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine at this year's summit in the New Delhi and did not openly call Russia as aggressive. The softer language showed deepening fractures among the leaders of the world's best economies while drifting in Eastern Europe. He hoped to support Ukraine abroad because he began to question his health. A CNN survey August showed that 55 of Americans are now opposed to additional help. A member of the Russian G20 and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was present for the summit. Putin has attended the conference since he invaded Ukraine in February 2022. Ukraine is not part of the economic organization. And its leader Volodymyr Zelensky was invited to participate by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. More Biden asks Congress more than $13 billion to Ukraine. A statement from group at a previous summit Bali refused to take sides in the war Indonesia. Hosting world's largest economies. The organization said that the Russian Federation has prevented its aggression against Ukraine in the most powerful sense and demanded that it be fully an unconditional withdrawal from the Ukraine region. Most members strongly condemned war in Ukraine stressed that people have caused the pain. Exacerbation of existing fragility in global economy restricting growth. Inflation. Increasing supply chains. Energy food insecurity. Raising financial stability risks. Said notification. Conditions sanctions have other opinions and different evaluations different evaluations. G20 is not a forum to solve security problems the new explanation New Delhi on Saturday. The negative added effects of war in Ukraine on global economy. Especially COVID in developing and at least developed countries for complex of policy environment. He said, the situation had different views and evaluations. He evaluated.